up y'all it's nappy food all up on your screen and i am coming at y'all with this very inspiring video is what i'm gonna call it see i did this bantu not out tutorial like a year ago never posted it and the reason i never posted it mm, let's just say i know better now anyway let's get right into it nappy food checking in that bantu not out i thought i did wrong let's go Okay, y'all, so what inspired this video? I forgot who tutorial I saw, but I saw this wonderful, beautiful, natural hair YouTuber do a Bantu Knot Out video. Actually, it was a flat twist Bantu Knot Out, hence the reason my hair is flat twisted and Bantu Knotted. I did exactly what she did. I flat twisted from my scalp. I did quite a few sections. I grabbed my hair, I twisted it up. I grabbed my hair at the scalp um, oh yeah, I put some oils on my end. You know you gotta oil those ends. And then, you know, I grabbed my hair at the scalp area and I rolled it around, you know. Um, she mentioned doing this if you're tender headed. Instead, instead of rolling it from the bottom, just do it from the scalp and just roll it up. And I did that. I'm gonna show y'all a little bit closer. Um, so, you know, I followed her tutorial down to the damn T. Now, one thing you have to keep in mind is that whenever you follow someone's tutorial, the biggest consideration that you need to take and that you need to keep in mind is your hair texture is not like that person's. So therefore, what does that mean, class? Your results are not gonna be like hers. It's just not gonna happen, boo. And at this point in time in my life, I didn't learn that really. I was just like, if I do it like hers, it's gonna come out like hers. And uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. I learned real quick, and that is not the case. Hey, <laughs> that is not the situation. So my hair is gonna come out the way she wants to come out because she's 4C, she's not 4A, she's not 3A, none of that. So here's the results, y'all. This was not what I was expecting. It came out so tight, so compacted. And the way the other girls came out, it had like a lot of stretch. It had like, it, it, it just wasn't like, let's just say this was totally opposite of what I didn't saw on that video, okay? Listen to what I said when I was done taking all the twist out. And I look like a little kid. I look like somebody's little sister, somebody's uh, grandma, I don't know. Maybe this is why I've never did, I don't really do, I've done been to not one time and now I remember why it was one time. But, we're not, we're gonna make it work. And I definitely tried y'all, but I'm just, I just want to make this point real quick. When you do a hairstyle you see on someone online, in the blogs, in the magazine, whatever, do not expect your results to be just like hers, because they won't. Even if the girls foresee just like you, your results still will not be exactly like hers, and you should be a-okay with it. So for this tutorial, maybe I shouldn't have twisted it so tight. I should probably should have did hanging Bantu knot outs so that I could have some stretch to it. But you know, you live and you learn, and that's part of the wonderful, beautiful, adventurous side of, nat of your natural hair journey, and especially that 4C hair journey. that's just that nap life you know our journey requires us to do a little to do things a little different and that's what inspired my series like hers before see click on that link up there to see some of the videos I have there um, I take the textures of other naturals and I make their styles work on my 4C hair we just have to know that certain steps we're gonna have to skip or we're gonna have to add to require the results that we desire Oh, I just, I just rhymed. Hello. Anyway, I appreciate y'all watching. I hope this video helps somebody. Until next time, remember to have healthy hair. You got to do healthy things. Deuces.